To fully savour an Iberico ham, it must be sliced properly. Slicing should begin at the back of the ham, known as the matha. It is here that the largest amounts of meat with the best flavour are to be found. The piece of meat is placed, hoof up, on a special support called a jamonero. The first cut should be a slanted incision at the hock. Then, the external layer should be removed, which has been formed by hard skin during the maturation process. The surplus fat should then be peeled back until the meat itself is visible. Once this process has been completed, the meat can then be sliced with a well-sharpened handmaker's knife. The cuts should be slow, trying to produce thin, not very large slices, which improve the ham's aroma on the palate. It is not uncommon to find little white specks on the meat. This is not a defect, but rather a sign that the ham is of a high quality. These are simply thyroxine crystals, a byproduct of protein breakdown, and they appear when the ham has matured correctly. In order to be able to appreciate the flavor and aroma of Iberico ham, the meat should be sliced as thinly as possible. As the carving process goes on, the carver will come to the hip bone. A smaller knife should be used here so that it is easier to slice the meat around the bone. The outer rind should be removed as the carving process goes on. The best way to ensure that the ham does not dry out in between carvings is to cover it with slices of the surplus fat removed earlier. In this way, the fat on the ham's surface will always remain fresh. The ham should then be covered with a sheet of cling film. Once the ham has been carved as far as the femur, the piece of meat must be turned around so that the front of the ham, called the babilla, can be sliced. The ham is sliced in the same way here, although the colour of the slices will not be as vibrant. Once the bone has been reached again, the ham must once again be turned so that the side part can be sliced. Finally, the bottom of the ham, called the punta, is sliced. Here, the flexibility of the ham maker's knife really comes into its own. The meat next to the bone, which can only be cut irregularly, can also be cubed. The bone is then cut with a saw into four to six inch pieces. These are used to make stocks, which, due to the nature of the raw material, will have an exceptional flavour.